welcome back to story time with Andy. Let's find out what today's story is going to be. Today we're reading Magnificent Millie. Millie Mouse loved inventing things, more than mice loved cheese. She wanted to help her woodland friends with her ideas, but things didn't always go to plan. Mole couldn't see anything through the super specs. Rabbit's bounce booster flung her over the treetops. Woodpecker got a headache from the pecking protector. Frog's tongue tonic made his tongue too sticky. One sunny morning, the animals decided to have a picnic. I've got lots of ideas to help us get ready, cried Millie excitedly. As usual, things soon began to go wrong. The turnip extractor sent badger's turnip zooming into the sky. The balloon blower made hedgehog huff and puff until he was completely out of breath. Then there was squirrel's super sucker. They saw acorns all over the place. Everyone had just about had enough when... Millie tried to lay out the picnic blankets with her splendid spinner. As Millie pedalled the machine, whirred and clicked faster and faster until whoosh! Millie's invention flung the picnic blankets everywhere and the animals were very cross. Maybe it's time for me to stop inventing once and for all, says Millie. My ideas only seem to cause trouble. With that, Millie scurried away into the woods. Suddenly, Millie came across a giant picnic basket. It must have fallen out of that delivery van, she said as the van disappeared into the distance. The enormous picnic basket was full of delicious treats. It's too big to carry all the way home, said Millie. If I invent something to bring it back, I'm sure everyone will forgive me. When Millie showed her friends and explained her plan, they shook their heads. We'll bring it back ourselves, said Tortoise. We can't have another of your inventions going wrong. Millie's friends tried everything they could think of to get the feast home. They heaved and strained, but it wasn't long before they were all ready to give up. It looks like we do need your help after all, they told Millie. Millie was delighted. I've got the perfect idea, she said. Best of all, we can all build it together. The animals busied themselves gathering things to build the invention. Soon they were ready to begin. They lifted, they hammered, they sawed and bolted. Finally, the invention was finished. Everyone gasped as they saw what they had created. Allow me to demonstrate, announced Millie. The fantabulous food flinger. Millie jumped on with a one, two, three. Boing, swoosh. The food went soaring over the treetops and everyone clapped and cheered. Soon everyone wanted to try the fantabulous food flinger for themselves. So one by one, the animals each sent a piece of the picnic flying into the distance. Soon enough, when they arrived at Poppy Meadow, the picnic was already there waiting for them. We did it, they cried. Everyone munched and chomped on the delicious picnic feast all afternoon. You really are magnificent, inventor Millie, said Rabbit. The others nodded in agreement. I couldn't have done any of it without my magnificent friends said Millie as she polished off the very last bit of cheese. Working together made the best invention ever. The end.